Residents are on alert tonight in San Bernardino County, where an evacuation warning is already in effect for those in the path of the line fire. Now, the flames have devoured over 3,000 acres of dry brush there. This is the mountains just above East Highland. That's right. Uh, KTLA's Rachel Menetoff is live in Highland with the latest on the fire and reaction from residents there. Rachel. Share Rick, this is one of the neighborhoods under an evacuation warning. So all of the homes over here, they've got their valuables packed up, ready to go just in case. We have been monitoring a couple of flare ups on this hillside here behind us. The fire right now at 0% containment, but several people have told us they have lived through these kinds of fires before. They're confident firefighters have a good handle on this one. Hundreds of men and women from various cities and counties battling this unpredictable wildfire, often carrying 50 to 70 pounds of equipment during a 24 hour shift, hiking through steep, rugged terrain and trying to curb those stubborn hot spots. We're going to continue with our uh, air resources during the day, and then tonight we're going to continue with the, the night flying capability helicopters. This has become known as the line fire, which took a turn for the worse overnight, doubling in size and strength. It initially burned in the direction of the San Bernardino National Forest, but shifted toward Highland, prompting Cal Fire to post an evacuation warning. The fire spreading as a heat wave blanket Southern California. Didn't get much sleep last night. Mike Finn says at some points it was touch and go. He's got all of his family heirlooms, home videos and picture albums boxed up by the door in the event they have to rush out. We're not anticipating uh, being evacuated. If we do, I think it's highly likely that we're not going to lose the structure or the house or anything else. Right now, no homes are in the immediate path of the blaze, which has been contained within the ridges of the mountain range. Longtime Highland homeowners like Donna Christofferson admit the flames are a little bit too close for comfort. We didn't think it was anywhere near us, and as we drove down Greenspot, I mean, my heart started to beat very fast because I saw how close it was to our own homes. And as for Mike Finn, he's confident that just like other hardships in life, this too shall pass. I have a lot of faith in God, a lot of faith. And that's what's getting you through today. Absolutely. And fire officials say there are no mandatory evacuation orders in place right now. But if you are someone who would require additional time in the event of an evacuation, you've got pets, you've got livestock. The recommendation is that you leave immediately. That's the latest from Highland tonight. I'm Rachel Menetoff. I'll send it back to both of you in the studio.